Guys, can you talk about a little bit about how satisfying it is to, to win a Big Ten title this year? Maybe the, some of the things you've gone through to get to this stage. Yeah, um, it's just it's pretty unbelievable. I think um, all of us are kind of just like, you know, I don't think many people believed in this. You know, we just people within the program, we've just worked so, so hard for this. And, um, you know, a lot of credit to our just entire team, you know, the young young ones just buying into what we had to get accomplished and trusting the coaches and the older older girls and, you know, what it takes to get there. And, you know, I'm just so, so proud to be a Lady Lion today. Uh, you guys have had three of these things. How does this one compare maybe to the first one or even last year? What are the differences with it? Just winning the game today and the experience maybe from this year to last year? Um, <clears throat> the confetti came down and I looked at KP and I told her it doesn't get old. Um, you know, it, it's, it's an amazing feeling every time. You could win one, you could win ten. It, it feels great every time. And uh, but like like they've been saying, this this one's special just because just because of how how hard we've worked for it. Uh, like I said, the freshmen came in, bought in. It's just you know our journey over this year just kind of culminated on the on the floor today. Uh, I thought everybody stepped up well, and I'm just super proud of my team. What also, um, what also makes it special is that it's alumni weekend and they came through and. Yeah, I mean it's it's amazing to be able to share this with them. Um, it's very rare that these two things happen at the same time: alumni day and um, Big Ten championship. So um, when you just look around, you just see so much history, and um, it's amazing to see where we've been and how far we've come. And um, we kind of just taken a little bit of them with us as years have gone on and improved the program from how great it was to, to begin with. So um, yeah, it's just awesome to, to share it with them and. Um, to kind of pull, you know, um, energy from them um, to play this game. So Maggie, at the end of the at the end of the first half, you kind of went down and you were limping off the floor, and then you kind of fired the crowd up. What was kind of going through your mind there? Um, just kind of like mentally, just trying to get myself going because you know, hurt pretty bad. <laughs> so I was just trying to <laughs> kind of feed off the crowd that I've done for four years. You know, they really just fired me up. So I was feeling a little little pain. I just went to the crowd. I got a little. <laughs> Well, juice. <laughs> <laughs> you had 16 today. I think that's a career high. Uh, what was? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you find uh, as, as it looked like, especially at, at times, especially in the second half, that uh, you were able to do a lot of things inside? What was there for you? What were you looking to do? As well? um, you know, something really interesting. When you run the floor, you get the ball. So, <laughs> I don't know where I've been this whole time, but uh, I, I just, I'm so thankful for my teammates and Dara, you know, connect, help me to connect on a lot of passes. And Maggie, you know, throwing dimes. Same with you, Barry. So, um, <laughs> just, I guess, vibing with them and, you know, being where you should be at the right time was, was awesome for me. Yeah, how may be satisfying is it for you to see them accomplish three straight uh, Big Ten times? Um, I'm I'm really thrilled and really happy for them that they had um, I think they had a really tough a tough task this year um, probably the hardest of you know the, the three championships because of the you know the change of the team and um, it was just such a new team you know with seven freshmen and so they had a really really hard job and the way that they came together collectively the four of them to lead this team was really good to see. You talked about the seniors. What does the championship mean for you know the team and the program as a whole? Championship. You know, it it means a lot. Um, it's the first time in in program history that we've won three Big Ten championships um, in a row. And you know, when this this program has such a storied legacy, and to be able to do something that this program hasn't done before, I mean, it, it's pretty hard because you know programs accomplish so much. And so for this, this this class and for this team to, you know, kind of do something that sets them apart, that, you know, that's that's really that's really cool for this this these seniors and for this team to have that in their in their hat. What's it like? What's it like from a coach's standpoint or viewpoint? I guess when the confetti goes off and you see your players going and reacting the way they did, is that a satisfying moment? And how satisfying is it just to see them and kind of watch them celebrate it? You know, it's like Christmas morning. For parents, when their kids open their gifts and the wonderment that they have and the excitement that they have, you know, it, it just warms your heart. And it's the same thing. I'm always, you know, looking at the, the players and, and just seeing the joy that they're experiencing because they work hard for these championships. Trust me. You know, we've had some days where, you know, where they're 
running their tails off. And, and it's hard. It's hard work winning a championship. And so the moment where the confetti comes down and, and they actually have accomplished what they, what they set out to accomplish, it just, I, I just like watching them enjoy that moment. It's kind of a perfect way for, for them to, to have a senior day. Absolutely. They, they play like seniors. I mean, they played the way you want seniors to play on senior night. You know, they came together. Um, they all had, had really good nights and, and played well for us and culminated with a Big Ten championship. Great way to go out. Where do you think the game got away from you? Uh, I thought there was a stretch. I mean, it was pretty um, even back and forth. I thought in the first half, maybe the first eight or nine minutes, and then they went on a stretch where they were scoring. They were also shooting one and one by that point. So I thought they got a bunch of free throws down that stretch, too. Um, that hurt us, and I thought... Uh, Talia East did a great job of getting the ball inside and scoring inside for them as well. So even when we um, were able to contain Lucas at times, they had other kids step up and make plays for them. So I thought that showed tremendous growth in their program. What kind of threat does Ariel Edwards pose? Ariel, I grew up watching that kid, just so you know. Um, she, was, uh, she was terrific tonight. Um, She's really expanded her game. Obviously, I watched her a ton in high school. Uh, I used to coach right down the street from where she went to high school. So I've watched her grow up. And you know, she really has developed into an inside-outside presence. And she's such a mismatch for teams because she's so much bigger than the typical guard. So she could take you inside. But now she can also knock down the three consistently as well as beat you off the bounce. So she's a tough matchup for anyone. And I'm so proud of uh, her growth as a player, and she had a great year for them for sure.